Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to talk about a simple text transformation in Power BI and Power Query that you can uh, use to extract part of the text based on a delimiter. For example, you might want to get something before this or after this, but between these two delimiters, let's see how these transformations can be done really simply in Power BI. When it comes to text transformations, you can do that in two places. You can do a transformation like this, for example, extracting things before a text before at sign or text between at sign and dot in DAX using calculated column, uh, using sub substring functions and things like that. But much easier way to do it and the right place to do it normally is in Power Query, unless you want to do something like that dynamically, which doesn't happen very often. Um, so best way normally is to do this within Power Query, which is the right place to do transformations like this. To do that, you have to go to the Home tab, open Transform Data, which is another name to get into the Power Query. When you click on that, you'll get into this window called Power Query Editor window, which is a place that you do all your data transformations. For example, I'm just removing all other columns for now just to keep focus on this. Uh, so I have this email address column, which let's say I want to get everything before this delimiter, before at sign. And that would be the username of parts of this email. If I want to fetch that part, I can click on the column first. Then I go to add columns, add columns. Under extract, you'll find some extract options. For example, one of them here is is extract text before delimiter. There are other options as well after and between delimiter. If I choose extract text before delimiter, then uh, I choose the delimiter. I can just type it in here. Uh, in this case, it would be just a sign. When I type it, click on OK, and this is the text before delimiter. Very simply done. It doesn't matter how long the text is. I don't need to write a formula or a script. In fact, it writes the formula for me. That is one of the beauties of Power Query Editor. Uh, and I get everything before the at sign. I can use the same thing this time to extract text between the limiters. Let's say I want the domain name, which is between at sign and dot. That gives me all the text between these two. Uh, or if I want the domain extension, which in this case is the .com or whatever else it might be, that is everything after dot. I can go and say extract text after delimiter and then set it to dot. However, for something like this, when I say extract text after delimiter and it is dot, what if there's a dot in the username somewhere like here, somewhere, for example, here? In that case, that would not give me what I want. It is good that if I want to extract um, something like this, I start scanning the text from end of the input, not from start of the input. And these are things you can set in the advanced options. In the advanced options, for example, for this one, which is text after delimiter, I can choose where to scan for this delimiter. Normally, it starts scanning it from the start of input. I can change it from end of input, which means this will start from here. And as soon as it f hits the first dot, it will return that. You also have options such as saying, for example, how many delimiters you want to skip in case there are some delimiters to skip. And this option is not available just for text after delimiter. It is also available for text between delimiters. And between delimiters, you have this option that you can set for each of them separately like one for this delimiter, for start delimiter, one for end delimiter. It is a quite simple and useful transformation set that you can use all of these extract between before and after delimiters. There is also one other uh, options that uh, can be used uh, often, which is a split column by delimiter. If you have one delimiter repeated multiple times, and you want to use that to split into multiple columns, you can right click and say a split column by delimiter or in the transform tab, the split column 
by the limiter, which I explained that in another video and blog, uh, how this is going to work. In general, text transformations are really simple in Power Query. Go ahead and use that. I would definitely recommend using those to do text transformation rather than writing DAX expressions for this type of things. Uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, using Power Query like as I do. Uh, if you like uh, this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI. Thank you. Thank you.